Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're staying well and staying healthy. My name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell. That would be cool. So today I'm doing my skincare reaction to Dr. Shireen Idris, a New York dermatologist. And I love this woman. I think she's so natural. She's so good on YouTube. She's got a big following on Instagram. You need to go and watch her. I will put the link to this um, original video below. But this is Dr. Shireen doing her morning skincare routine. And I did her nighttime routine, which is up here. You can have a look at that, where I really went, <gasps> now let's see if I go <gasps> again when I'm watching Shireen, but she is great. So let's get started. Welcome to my morning routine. Okay, I start off by brushing my teeth, and then I wash my teeth. It's a little cold, the water, because it leaves me up. Take a shower and come back. Hopefully fully dressed, ready to tackle the day. All right, good morning. Now we have taken a shower. We are semi-awake. The coffee has not happened yet. I, I oddly got addicted to coffee only during quarantine. I never used to drink coffee before that, so I, that's probably a habit I'm gonna have to quit. Um, so mornings are usually chaotic. The kids are usually running around. You might see my daughter going back and forth. Um, and so I don't have a million steps to do. The biggest takeaway is that I don't wash my face with a cleanser, I wash it with water. Um, I don't cleanse twice a day, I don't recommend cleansing twice a day because when you do, you're over stripping your skin of its natural oils and it can actually make you oilier because you're gonna try to then overcompensate. I don't know what she's doing. Mimi, what are you doing? You're feeding the baby, okay. And then after, <laughs> Oh, I just love this girl. She is, you know, got the family stuff going on in the background, which is great. And she's talking about that she doesn't cleanse in the morning. Mm. So this is a real good thing to discuss quickly if you don't cleanse in the morning. I think this is a personal thing and I think it all depends on your skin type. I don't think that everybody shouldn't cleanse in the morning. I don't agree with that. So if you have got a normal to oily skin, um, I really do think it's a good idea to cleanse with a gentle cleanser in the morning, 100%. Um, you know, if you've got the kind of the skin that, you know, when we, at night time, right, we know, and I've said this to you, at night time, your skin's repairing itself. So at night time, you must double cleanse really, really well to get everything, dirt, grime and bacteria off your skin so that when you apply all your actives, all your serums and your good moisturizers and retinols, whatever you're putting on are going to really work because your skin is doing its main job at night mm -hmm, where it's shedding dead skin and it's doing that. That's right. Okay, and you've done all that great work, okay, and then the next morning, if you've got normal to dry skin, well, I can see that you can let the, the, the washing your face go, I, I can, because normal to dry skins, in the morning you do start producing your natural oils again, so that's coming through, and you know, you don't want to strip the skin of oil, you don't want to do that, and putting any cleanser on the face, is definitely going to take some of your dead skin away and definitely some of your oils away. It does do that. So normal to dry skins, I would say, give it a shot. Try not cleansing in the morning and see what you think. I do agree if you're going out for a run, a jog, when I walk my dog along, walk in the morning, all of that, I don't cleanse before I go out into that environment outside. I don't want to affect my skin. But I do, because I have got the combination skin, I do, when I come back after doing a certain lot, lot of things in the morning, I then like to do my cleanse and put on my actors again and obviously my sunscreen. <laughs> obviously. So really have a go at it yourself and see what you think. But I don't advocate it if you're prone to oily, acne, skin 
I would still give it a cleanse. But everybody, when you're cleansing in the morning anyway, you shouldn't be using exfoliators. I've said that I don't like you using scrubs or that type of, you know, mechanical exfoliator in the morning. I do not like that. I prefer that at night time because I don't want you to go out, have a bare raw skin kind of idea and going outside. So normal to oily, I think you still have to give it a gentle cleanse. Mm -hmm. Just saying. I basically keep it to three-ish steps. Um, I start off with a antioxidant. So what I've noticed while wearing a mask is that I am breaking out obviously a little bit more. My skin is a little bit oilier because of the mask and therefore I switched from CE Ferulic, the SkinCeuticals, to the Floritin CF, which is more of a gel-like consistency. I'll show you guys. But it still stinks. Ugh, and my face is gonna smell like this, but it's okay because we are tackling the day <laughs> and the pigmentation. I don't think vitamin C helps all that much with pigmentation, but it definitely is an added boost and benefit that makes other ingredients work better. Hmm, so let's have a chat about SkinCeuticals, Floret and CFJ. I know that she's a fun, she's fond of SkinCeutical products and they are known for good serums. I'm just saying they are and um, this one is 30 mil and it's 145 quid not a cheap serum okay it's a vitamin serum a vitamin c serum which she, she mentioned vitamin c helps fight against you know it's an antioxidant it helps against fine lines wrinkles fights the free radicals and helps with discoloration i feel it does when i i like vitamin c used for discoloration and pigmentation i do think it works it's always great using it with other types of ingredients that help that, but I do love a vitamin C serum. I do. Um, the thing about this one, you know, the first ingredient is always alcohol. Then we've got um, the glycol to give it slip. Then we've got butylene glycol, good for texture. And, and then we've got the next ingredient is denatured alcohol. I don't like this about SkinCeuticals. It's denatured alcohol in the top you know, five ingredients, it's not good. That is a sensitizing type of alcohol. So that's the thing I'm not happy about that. I wish they would change that formula. It's not good for me. Um, that's a kind of alcohol, a denatured alcohol. It does aggravate sensitive skin and weaken skin. Mm -hmm. So I would personally avoid anything with alcohol denatured in it. I would, but then it's got ascorbic acid in it. Um, and it's got dimethicone, which gives it the, lo the lovely silky feel that she's talking about, this silky feel that prevents water loss. And it's got um, coconut oil, you know, so that's pretty good. But it's got floretin, which is, floretin is the lymph ingredient. So I'm always looking at the top five ingredients, then I break it to the next 10. I'm always looking at that because I want to see where everything is in the formulation. And it gives me a good idea if it's, you know, it's going to, do its job that it's saying it's doing. And this has got floretin, which is a really good antioxidant from the bark of the apple tree. So that is good. Uh -huh. And then, you know, near the end, it's got vitamin E. So all in all, I do think it's a good serum. I do, except for that freaking denatured alcohol. <laughs> it looks quite a nice texture as well, the gel texture. And I quite like that. It's on, it's going on first, the gel texture, light, lightweight going on first to her skin. But on its own, is it going to even out your pigmentation? Probably not. In combination, absolutely. So I use this. And then I use um, Lytera 2.0 by Skin Medica. Uh-oh. All right, give me one second. It means this is the consistency as I just... You do? Okay. Told you guys I don't have time. So hold on. I'll be right back. I'll let all of this sink. Quickly. It goes from my head down to my chest. When I extend, I do try to put a little bit over here. Um, when I go all the way with a lot of products that are expensive, I do try to dilute it, just an FYI, but I will always moisturize from here to here and sunscreen at least from here to here. Oh, that is so funny, isn't it? <laughs> just when you're doing your, your routine, your, your daughter wants a caca. <laughs> I love that. That is what I mean. She is such a cool woman. <laughs> oh, it happens to the best of us. Anyway, the Skin Medica. Oh, let me try and calm myself down there. That was so funny. Skin Medica um, Lighter 2.0 Pigment Correcting Serum. Mm -hmm. This is what she's putting on. And 
I quite I'm always saying that to you treat from here upwards and I do think that I do think that you should put serums here upwards and moisturizers here upwards you know I think it's fine Shireen's a lot younger than me so but when you get older you know we want it to be everywhere <laughs> we want the serums and everything to really work everywhere it's except if they're for a specific thing but let's have a look at this this is expensive 115 quid for 60 mil <laughs> for two ounces. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see it's got water butylene glycol it's got glycerine third ingredient ding ding niacinamide fourth ingredient ding 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 very good skin repairing ingredient for aging and acne skin reduces in large pores it's just a great you know super star ingredient niacinamide i love that it is for uneven skin tone and you the more i'm getting to know shireen she definitely has got an issue with her skin color her skin discolorations and her pigmentation you know, I'm just wondering, you know, she obviously had that when she was pregnant, but it's staying with her now, this pigmentation issue that she's got. So, so this is one of the things that's in her head all the time when she's looking at products for herself. But niacinamide's fantastic ingredient. It really is. And then we've got, well, I quite like this. This is number seven, this transexamic acid. This is interesting because transexamic acid, I have mentioned this before. I did have to take transexamic pills for heavy um periods uh-huh i did and they it did work 100 percent. but it's so interesting for me how it crosses over into skincare and transazamic acid is great for pigmentation it really does help now this is good because we've got the niacinamide and we've got the transazamic acid in this one for the pigmentation and then we've got number eight grapeseed oil great antioxidant i always like that and then we've got the algae you know everybody loves a bit of algae which but you know moisture binding to the skin helps it and then we've got tetrapeptide 30 which is also a synthetic um, peptide that helps the pigmentation so here i'm looking at this i'm really i'm actually liking this serum i do and then number 14 we've got vitamin e there mm -hmm. wow and then we've got again the emollient from coconut oil so i really like that i do <laughs> it's expensive 115 but skin medical lighter a 2.0 pigment correcting serum definitely will work for pigment problems pigmentation problems definitely and skin repairing i like that one i would try that one if any of you out there want to try something for pigmentation that seems a good one to me ding ding <laughs> it's good to always get one that you really like it's done we washed our hands but basically antioxidant brightening agent when i wear the mask i do not use a moisturizer because it's the weekend i'm not wearing a mask i'm gonna start moisturizing it is end of october the air is getting drier and I oh i like how she's saying that because she wears a mask obviously and um, being a doctor she's wearing a mask you know so many hours maybe eight hours a day and it's definitely been making a breakout you know i've got another video up here you want to watch mask me where it really has been the issue and it's not going away, is it? Maskne is not going away. And I do agree with some of that that she's saying, if you are prone to having that skin round this area where it oils up, I'm a bit like that myself, to be honest, where my skin can get oily in the T-zone. But round here, if you have got that issue, um, you heat up here, this is like the mask is causing this to heat up like a micro, you know, micro climb underneath the mask and that will cause you to break out so she doesn't use moisturizer under the mask mm -hmm. i'm just saying interesting to think about that and i would definitely still be putting on an spf a light spf so maybe do without the the moisturizer and put the spf on but having a think about that if you're getting spots under your mask it's maybe too much oil you're putting on your skin and then it's oiling up so i like that idea that what she's saying i do I could feel my face getting a little bit drier. Um, so depending on how dry it is, if it's not too dry, I'll use a hydrating serum. I recently discovered this one by Avino, the Calm Restore. I really love it. Um, or I will use my tried and true Embryolisse. It's a great primer as well under makeup. So I'm not that dry today, so I'm going to use this one. I do not love the dispense mechanism. Like, it doesn't feel that well. So you find yourself having to go back and do two pumps. But really lovely from head all the way down. OK, 
okay? I'm wearing my husband's shirt because I didn't have time to do laundry. <sighs> Oops. All right. So that is that. All right, so quickly, the two products, Aveeno Calm and Restore Triple Oat Serum. That's the one that she actually used there. Um, and she said that it's when she did this video, it was October, unlike it's February just now. Um, but it's a similar thing that, you know, she feels her skin getting a bit drier because the air's changing and the heating's obviously on where she is in New York, I bet. Um, I've been in New York where it, when it is cold and it can be really cold and windy, <laughs> definitely. So um, she's now thinking about more moisturiser, but she's still using this Aveeno Calm and Restore Triple Oat Serum and it's not cruelty free. You know, it gives this impression, I think, Aveeno. I think it gives this impression about all natural ingredients. I'm done this and I'm that. <laughs> I think Aveeno is very like that. And I'm always shocked when I look at some of these um, products. It is a cheap product. It's it is it's it's good value, um, but it's not it's not great. It's not really great. Okay, it's it's not it's okay for a sensitive skin. This one because the second ingredient is glycerine, which is a humectant, and then we go down. It's just full of silicons and thickeners to me and preservatives. No 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 no. No, you don't really get to the good ingredients really until number 12th ingredient on the list. Number 12th and you've got fever tree. I think that's brilliant because every time I say fever tree, I always think about the tonic that goes best with my gin. <laughs> fever tree tonic. If anyone's listening out there and you know the company, ask them to send me some freebies. <laughs> but fever tree, I do love fever tree tonic with my gin. But this has um, got... Skin Soothing Plant Extract from the, the Fever Tree Plant, which is an antioxidant. That's number 12th ingredient. And then we've got, which is what the whole range is based around, is Avena Sativa Oak Kernel, um, which is oak, oak extract is skin soothing. And that's what you need to know. Oak Kernel Extract is all skin soothing. And there's three of them, number 13, 14, number 18th in the ingredient list. But that's what I'm trying to say. The good ingredients are way down at the bottom end of this. That's why I don't think it's, you know, it's like calling this Calm and Restore Triple Oat Serum sounds amazing. But it, no, 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 no. I think it's okay, but not great. Okay. And that other one she talked about, Embryo Lease, and I hope that one of my friends, Pam, is watching this because she went on about this Embryo Lease, Embryo Lease, Always hard for the Joni. Lay cream concentrate at 20 quid for 75 mil. It really is really reasonable. But this product has been out since the 1950s. Crikey Mikey. <laughs> and it's so hyped up that I cannot believe them. The, you know, the company Embryo Lease that absolutely, you know, sell this to people. <laughs> and it sells. It's a blinking miracle to me because this is hyped up mostly water mineral oils thickness <laughs> it's not, this is not a great product it's an okay moisturizer an okay moisturizer for normal to dry skin but it's been out since the 1950s it's old-fashioned formula uh-huh with perfume as well <laughs> oh dear um i could go on and on about this one but embryo lease it's got the second ingredient is mineral oil you know it's like Vaseline, the second ingredient, then it's thickener, 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 light, right, go down to number eight, which is a bit of shea butter. <gasps> you know, but that, anyway, it's not that great, this product that's formulated. Ugh, you know, it really is not great formulated. Um, and I don't know why people buy it. I don't, I really don't, because it's much better out there. Much better. Do you hear me, Pam? I hope you're listening to me. <laughs> so... It's all hyped up. Don't believe all the hype about this. Do not believe it. Okay. <laughs> That's so and then sunscreen. So glow screen. I adore it. Um, tip. I do use it under makeup. Ooh. <laughs> when I put my makeup, I will sometimes <laughs> use it on top. I'll do a makeup routine for you guys. So he is doing his morning routine. <laughs> Um, I just thought there's no time. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Are you tickling? Edgy. Yeah. And then. 
How about you, a dinosaur? This is a very shiny one for the neck and chest. But I have it, so I'm showing you guys. But look how. Ooh. It's a cloudy day, but if I go in, I actually think I have a footage of me in the sun doing this for you. I'll show you. I'm a dinosaur, And voila! That's it! I'm a dinosaur. Yeah, love it. Back of the hands, always underrated. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. Anyway, I'm Dr. Shreen Idris, and that was my morning routine. I hope you guys learned a thing or two, or I don't, I don't know. See, <laughs> so I was gonna say goodnight. Have a good day. Have a good day. You see no. Hello. <laughs> oh, I think she's just wonderful. I do such a nice personality that comes over from her, doesn't it? And the family in the background. Oh, it's so nice. Super good glow screen, glow, glow screen that she used, the SPF. Um, I don't like it. <sighs> it is very shiny. It's known to be very shiny, this one. But I don't like this super good glow screen SPF 40. It's, it's cheap. Well, it's 32 quid. It's okay. It's an okay price for it. It really is an okay price. But... This is the thing about these sunscreens just now. Chemical sunscreens, okay? Um, Eva Benzone, Octosylate and Octacrylene. These are ingredients now that are regarded as a bit dangerous and they're undergoing really massive scrutiny just now in the FDA. Not just there, but we have to be careful about them. Um, there's a number of issues, but Eva Benzone, it, these can cause, they believe they may be related to hormone disruption. So what's the point in chancing it? What is the point in taking a chance? There is lots of good sunscreens out there, but you know what? I do think that's why we have to look always to mineral. We're looking to mineral most of the time. I would say 100% if you really were thinking about your skin and the coral reef out there. <laughs> but, you know, these these ingredients now are really being looked at. So you're really looking for only two ingredients, zinc oxide and titanium. Um, in products to have and not these chemical sunscreens nope 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 no nope. i wouldn't use them okay so that's the thing super good i do know that they've definitely got a zinc oxide um i'm sure i've used it before and i really liked it i'm sure super good do have do have a a good one that i like but i don't like this one at all shitting and it makes your skin look very greasy that's maybe the reason why she put the very light um, a Vino Cam Resource serum on and shouldn't put the Embryolis. If she'd put on the Embryolis with that sunscreen, she'd have been like a real oil slick. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> and we don't want that. We don't want that. So I hope that was good for you. It was certainly always good fun for me. I think she's great. I would definitely look to follow her. I love some of the stuff that she does. She's just so, so good at being natural and being herself, which is what we should always be. Beauty is being yourself. Am I right? So thank you so much for watching to the end and please share this with some of your friends and make sure you've subscribed to me. That That is always a help and take care and have a great week. Bye. Bye bye.